How's it going, everybody? As you can tell, a little uh, stopped up. I don't know if it's uh, going in and out, cold, hot kind of deal or what, but I got a sinus thing going on. Now, with that aside, you're going to want to know what we're doing this week. Anyways, my name's Damien, if you guys didn't already know, and uh, welcome to Blue Collar. This week, we're going to be working on that uh, 94 Kawasaki Vulcan again. I'm trying to get it ready for a friend, and I'm trying to stay out of the weather. Uh, but last week, we attempted to try to put the carburetor in there. Now, I haven't touched it in years. So I didn't remember how it went in there or where everything went. So this week, we're going to be pulling it back out to set some more stuff on it before we get in there. So this video is going to be a little bit more detailed than the last one. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoy it. And hopefully, we'll have it in by this week and get it running. Okay, if you didn't tune in for last week's video, we were doing passenger side, and obviously this side over here would be the driver's side. Now, we've already been working on this, and I got it to where I almost thought it was ready, but you have to have these apparently installed before you, uh, you know, put it all together. So we're going to have to take it back out put those on there and get it back to where it was but this week's gonna be a little bit more detailed because i know where a lot of the stuff goes and uh we're gonna be working on the passenger side for the most part this time and uh we're gonna start with pulling everything back out and i'm gonna show you where everything goes that i've found today and uh put it back in okay we had a lot going on for a second so it wasn't videoing but i went ahead and i took the shrubber boot out that goes in between there, okay? It's right here. Now I only did the one, okay, so don't freak out. So we got that boot off there. I took off a hose here, and then this hose that went to there, all right? The only thing I did, don't be freaking out, okay? So I'm gonna move the other side, and we're gonna take that other boot off of there, and that should be the only other thing. I don't think I'm gonna video it, because it's pretty easy. You just take the two clips off, Move the carburetor around with your little pry bar, and then uh, you uh, finagle it till it pops off of there. When I get it off, I want to show you guys what I think is really important here is where all these hoses go. That's what a lot of people will skip over. Uh, we're going to do a lot of the hoses and stuff where I think they go, and then uh, we'll be putting them back together once we get the throttle cables and everything on there. Can't forget that. She's the most important, so we'll go ahead and uh, go over all that in just a second. Now... Before we get going all crazy, to take these off of the bike, there's two, um, basically, hose clamps that are on here. Two on this one and two on this one. And then you'll pop one boot off, pop that off, pull out of the carburetor. Make sure you pull it left to right, which would be driver's side to passenger side, right? So, a few key things I wanted to tell you guys before we get to putting this stuff back together is stuff I didn't know. That I found extremely useful and almost near impossible to put this together without knowing uh, was one where all these lines are supposed to go, and two, the biggest thing for me it wasn't so hard to figure out where the lines were, but how to put these in there in the correct position to get that to line up in there right the first time every time, right? So on this carburetor, there's an F. And there's an R, right? One's front, one's rear. So it should be on your carburetor. And I'm not very sure about aftermarket, but I'm sure it should be the same regardless, right? Now on these little rubber grommet deals here, wherever it is, see that R right there? Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yep, see that R there? That's going to go to your rear. And then there should be an F right here. That goes to the front, okay? Now, the biggest thing with these, while we're on this subject here, is uh, there's a little, not on this one because I broke it off, we'll get to that later. But there's this little, like, nipple deal right here. And that's going to align on the bike where you're going to put this in here. And while this is off, it makes it really easy to show, but you can see it. Right there at the top. There's only one nipple on here, right? So this only sits on a certain way. Now remember, there's a front and there's a rear. Or front and rear, that's how it should be. And you can only put this little nipple lined up. This one should be, where is it? F. Or front. So only on that side 
will it line up correctly all right it would not line up on this side now without that nipple being on there like is what uh, just happened with this one I took it off and it broke off if you can't see where it broke which this one is very difficult I think it's actually around the seven here you can see that little tear if you can't see it, you're going to have to sit there and spin this thing until it sets in there right. Now that, I'm telling you right now, is really difficult because I tried that the first time. Now, with that stuff out of the way, these little uh, air pickups that go on this side of the carburetor, right? And these would go on this side, right? These actually have an R for uh, rear and an F for front on them as well so that makes them easy to not mess up now another thing that i ran into after um figuring these out was where all these lines went okay so you have a fuel line here on the left that goes directly into a bowl for the front carb and then on the flip side of that you have another fuel line that goes in here to the rear the rear uh, bowl for the carb right and then in the middle you have a hose here and a hose here that go up to a T, that T off on this hose. Now, what I'm assuming, because I haven't really figured that out yet, that would actually go under the tank to this little pickup uh, hose right here. And I'm assuming that is what's for the um, fuel gauge, considering there's wires coming off of it. So I'm, think, I'm thinking that's for the fuel gauge. Not exactly sure what this one's for yet. We'll find that out in a later date. But those fuel lines come into the petcock here. The little fuel shut on off regulator deal. They come in here and here, right? Now, on the side here of this carburetor is a vacuum port. Uh, one of the vacuum ports, let's face this the right way. Say if this was the front carb, it would be setting in the bike just like this, right? This vacuum port on the side would come directly up to this vacuum right here to open this uh, petcock because it's a vacuum inside. If this doesn't have vacuum, it'll stay shut, okay? Um, if, <clears throat> sorry, if this vacuum, if you don't know where this one goes, it actually comes off somewhat of the mid midsection of the bike here. And this vacuum hose will go straight back to over here to whatever, I guess a little vacuum booster pickup deal. Not really sure what it is, just know that's where it goes. I got some other hoses here we'll talk about later. But for the most part, on how to put all these hoses and stuff on this carburetor, that's what you're going to be messing with here. Um, I have a, uh, I forget what they call this here. I guess it's like the, oh man, what do they call this? A choke or, or something like this. Maybe it's a just idle screw or something like that. It actually sets screwed in right here on whatever the heck this is. Probably like a fuel um, pump or something like that. I forget what the name of it. Diaphragm in there that squirts fuel. Maybe that's what that is. I'm not sure. But I think that's all I can cover on this here. Um, well, actually. So we have... The whole reason I had to take this carburetor back off and we're going to cause this whole mess again this week is because there's two throttle cable uh, linkages that are supposed to go in this, right? Now, my problem is you can put this one on easy as could be all day long, but you cannot, while this carburetor is getting in here, you cannot get to that other one. See how it's behind everything? It has to be installed beforehand, okay? So you got to put both of those cables on there before you put it back on the bike. I know it sounds like a hassle, but that's how you got to do it. Now, there's another linkage here. This goes to the choke that goes up to the driver's side handlebar of the bike. That just uh, creates a choke. Whenever it's cold outside, you put the choke on there, and it'll automatically adjust the fuel flow in there. So that's what that stuff's for, and I think that just about wraps up everything that has to do with this carburetor. Now, this is... Uh, only would apply. I don't really know the numbers. I think it's VNA or something, some craziness, but uh, that should be it for this. We're going to go ahead and try to put it back in there. Okay. Now, once again, I want to put these cables on here first, but uh, I think I got this where it needs to be lined up. 
when you guys go ahead and put this in here and you get it lined up you're gonna want your uh, clamps on here snug to where they won't fall off but don't get it so tight that it restricts this carburetor going in here now I'm gonna have to get some Vaseline Vaseline this up move it up to where it's easier to slide around and play with but uh, you're gonna want these clips on the bottom because they're harder to get to on the top. All this stuff is, it's so hard to work with anything in between this because of how it was made. But you're gonna want these on the bottom down here. So you can get a screwdriver in there all day long, but it's harder to do so on the top. Now this is speaking from last week's experience that we got here. Um, it was so hard to do anything with this stuff. You're just gonna strip it out. So just try to put these on the bottom the best you can, just anywhere you can get to, okay? Um, that's from last week, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to, first of all, figure out, let me see if I can get this up here. You're going to want to figure out which one's your, uh, your actual throttle and which one's like your pushback, you know what I mean? So the way I'm seeing it is when you, when you throttle and you pull down, the one that's, I guess, going to be pulling is the one you're going to want to go with. And I could be wrong here, but... When you pull down, this throttle should pull with it, okay? That's what's opening up the barrel and everything in here. So, when you, uh, when you pull this throttle, this throttle down, one of those cables should come out. When you pull it back, that's the one that's going to pull back this way to actually disengage it. So, I think when you pull down, the one that pulls back is your actual throttle. So, this one is going to wind up going up top because... Remember, this is how this actuates. That's full throttle. That's off, okay? So you're going to want the one that's going all the way back here, okay, to be your, like, uh, pullback, right? Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to insert this. I'm going to show you down here just for, you know, you guys to see. You'll insert this little piece in that hole, just like that. And then you'll come up here. Throw that cable through it and pull down it. And that is exactly how that's supposed to look. You, the only way this is going to come out is if you pull back this cable to that and it slides straight out. It's the only way it's going to work. Okay, so that's how that's going to go in there. Um, I'm going to go down to the house and get some of this Vaseline so we can go ahead and lube those up and get them roughly put in place. We'll put these cables on here and then we should be right back to getting this thing right back in here. It should not take that long. Uh, but you got to have, you know, the know-how to really get it in there right the first time instead of sitting there and finagling with it. Um, this one is actually going to take us a lot longer because, like I said, the little nipple that shows you where to line it up actually got broke off when I took it off there, unfortunately. So um, we're going to have to do a little tweaking to make sure that's in the right spot. I think where I found where it's supposed to be, and I marked it with a uh, Sharpie to allow me to coordinate that. But... Um, we're going to see where exactly this is going to line up in just a second, okay? Let me go get this uh, lubrication, the Vaseline, like I said, and uh, we're going to get these throttle cables and stuff put on here and be right back into business, okay? So bear with me for just a second. All right, we got back from the house, okay? We got the stuff we need. Now... Big deal. Whole reason we took this out. Okay. Let's go ahead and get these cables set into place, like I said. Okay. This is going to be front going that way, rear going this way. Okay. We know that. Easy money. All right. Dial up. Okay. Let's make sure you guys can see this real quick. Okay. Looks like it. Now we're going to have to bring this thing back. Hold on to it with pinky. Throttleage. Put this in here. Just 
slide, twist, twi twist, okay. Wait a minute, I have to slide this one back out for just a second. Slide that up into place. Twist on that a little bit. Get it set up in there. Bring that out, set that up in there. Boom, okay. Now test, throttle back, throttle forward, throttle back, okay, perfect. Now, run these down a little bit. You do not want these things slipping. Okay. I'm gonna cut it here and we'll uh, tighten these up real quick. Okay. Make sure you uh, put this in here and then forget your recording and then, you know, have to do it again. But I got to slid out just a little bit. I'm not going to slide it all the way out. But what you're going to want to do is pick up on this plastic intake right here that comes all the way this way. Pick up on it and just kind of finagle stuff into place until it uh, pops in where you need it. Now, don't worry about those rubber pieces yet. You're going to want it just like that, okay, for right now. Now, don't worry about don't worry about these yet, okay? We'll get to that. You're going to want to set this in place first. Then we'll worry about the rubber stuff. But I wanted to get this clutch cable in here because I got the other two on here, like I said. Now, I'll get this little clutch cable in here. It slides all the way over from the other side, apparently. And it goes way over here to somewhere I can't see. On this side, I'm going to have to figure out how in the world I'm going to get it in there. Alright, here we are, sitting where I was a second ago. You're getting my view. We have another issue. I figured out how this throttle cable was supposed to, or I'm sorry, not throttle cable, the choke cable was supposed to run. Watch, see? Choke. Choke. Okay. Now, it runs in here where it's supposed to sit, right? And around, through in between the carburetors, all the way over here. See if I can get a better look over here. And it sets in this little triangular piece right there now it's not staying where it needs to be but that's because it's not in place now here's the issue though we got cables on the passenger side and the driver side now so i think we're gonna have to take off the choke cable get it set up in here put the carburetor in get all of it set up then hook up the choke cable again so a little little setback but uh, now that we know that, we're going to attack this piece right here, get it taken off of there. Slide the carb in, get it all booted and suited where it needs to be. Then we'll hook up the lines where they need to be. Okay, just to show you guys what I did real quick. I didn't want to put it on camera because there was some uh, jury rigging stuff going on here. But uh, I went ahead and took this apart. There was two screws. One here. And then one... Right there, two screws, and then I unclipped this clip here. Uh, I went ahead and loosened this up so I can move it back. Now, there's not too much room to play with because this wire will get real tight if you try to pull it all the way off, which is what I was initially going to do. Now, we didn't separate this fully because there's still some uh, wires going from here to this button here and some more of the other starter and stuff. Uh, but this little cable is held in there. See if I can get it to... Yep, by another one of them little deals that slide in right here and then hang that way. So we'll get to putting that back on once we get the carbon stuff in there, but that's how it is now. Okay, so what I'm going to do for now is uh, straighten these handlebars back out and move this crap. Uh, what I'm going to do for right now, we're going to straddle this thing up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take this choke cable off. Let's go ahead and pull it down a little ways. You don't want to run it all the way out. Just give you some room. We're going to pop the cable itself back off again. 
Um, so we can go ahead and slide the carburetor in. Oh, come on now, fall out of there. Okay, so we got the cable out. Now, we're going to go ahead and slide this carburetor back into place, and then we'll get to this choke cable in just a second. So like I said before, move all this crap out of your way that you need to move, and just slowly just kind of jiggle and slide and move stuff until it falls in. Apologies if I'm getting my head in the way, but I gotta be able to see what I'm doing. Move this air box up a little bit, slide, move it up a little bit more, finagle. Now if you couldn't tell, it's hard, but only for a minute. Now I got this in here, okay? I'm gonna bring you guys over to the other side and I'm gonna... Well, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. I can't promise you'll be able to see it because it's in a really tight spot. Let me just go ahead and turn the camera around. Okay, we're back over here on the driver's side. Now, this choke cable here has to set back in that little triangular piece right where my fingernail's at, okay? It has to set. Get out of the way. Right back in that triangle piece and shoot straight over to the other side. Right in there is what it looks like. Now, this is extremely difficult to see and I can understand that. But it's got to set in there in such a way that's just ridiculously hard to film. But at least you guys know that it has that little bevel because it sets inside this triangular piece here and shoots straight across with the little cable straight to right there okay so now that you guys know that i'm gonna go ahead and try to do it real quick we'll be right back when it's done all right so i got this set in here and like i said that sits in that triangle right there and then that cable sits right in there okay just like the other two throttle cables um now with this i got it set back in here um we're gonna have to figure something out putting a new uh handle on there but you can see that this is right back to where it was, and you can see this thing moving in here. See it on both ends? That's exactly how it's supposed to operate, so that's fine. The choke's going to work. Now, um, I might see about getting those rubber grommets on there, but I don't know. I'm not really... The longer I stay out here in the cold, the longer I start getting real messed up. So I might postpone this the rest of this tomorrow. We'll go ahead and uh, leave the Vaseline and stuff just where it is and we'll uh be up here tomorrow and see about getting those super grommet things in there and some other stuff and then i think what i might do is see if this battery's got some some life left in it and we might see if uh we can put that uh on there and check out some lights and the starter and stuff i guess might as well do it real quick see what happens Test this, test this battery real quick and put it on the volts. Get your uh, positive, you know, put it on the positive. If I can get it to stay in there somehow, somewhere. And uh, throw the negative on there. See 12 volts in the 12 volt system. Okay. Well, we can see if we can throw some uh, power to cables back there and check out the horn and the lights and all sorts of other stuff I, we have oil i'd like to change it before i actually start it but we can see if we can turn it over real quick okay go ahead and throw this in here okay negative on the driver's side passenger side is going to be positive i'm going to go ahead and do positive tab first so i can get it sat in there Get that rupture right in there. Okay. All right. Perfect. Move that over to the negative. 
And these are both 10 mil is what I'm putting on there just for future reference. Go ahead and snug those down. And I'm not going to worry about this just yet. We'll come back to that. Go ahead and tighten it down real quick. Okay. Don't do it too tight, especially on this battery, because the threads that hold down are what, you know, supplies the power. Let me grab the key, see what's going on. Okay, we got the key. Now, make sure nothing's going to catch on fire. For some reason, the lights are on. Don't hear anything burning. Leave that off for now. We'll mess with that in a second. Linker's working there. Linker's working here. Linker. Okay. Do this side of work. Ooh. Something weird. Something weird's going on in there. Nothing's working here. Nothing's working back there. Could be a flasher that's bad, maybe. We'll get into that later. Now we got high low flasher, flasher, and it's flashing back here. Of course, this is our hazards. I think that is just a flasher going bad right there. Okay, that works. Now, why do we not have headlightage? <coughs> we got a horn. <coughs> it sounds awful. Good news is these work pretty well. Um, of course, we don't have any fuel. It uh, turns over, so that's about as much as we wanted. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay, so tomorrow we know, hey, it turns over. It does everything. We have an issue with the uh, blinker on the driver's side here, and it's making an awful noise. Well, I think it's a flasher. I'm not really sure how bikes work, but we'll get into that. I'm sorry for the sniffling, guys, but... Um, I just can't help it. My sinuses are killing me. I'm going to go ahead and loosen up the positive and the negative here and leave it off overnight. I don't want it draining the battery. And, uh, tomorrow we'll hopefully have this in here and see if we can get it to turn over. I'm not going to be using this tank. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. I do not want to feed this stuff anywhere near. Look at that. That's premium gas been sitting in there for a few years. We're not going to use that until uh, I clean it out or my friend that's going to buy it from me is cleaning it out. But we can still get some fuel in there. We have a plan for that, don't you worry. Um, but for now, we're going to leave it here. We'll start bright and early in the morning. Probably not early, nor bright. Probably around 12 because it's freaking cold outside. So thank you guys watching another day and uh thank you for you know really hanging in there with me sounding like this man it's whoo i need to kick this stuff in the butt because good lord is it kicking me back so we'll get in here tomorrow like i said and we'll get uh right back to work on this thing and hopefully tomorrow we can hear it uh, kick off we don't have any more craziness thrown at us so yeah thank you guys for hanging in there okay we're doing a little bit better today than yesterday. We're not as uh, stopped up, thank goodness. Man, it's been a few days since that's uh, been a thing. But, well, where were we yesterday? What, what were we doing? Um, I think we just got the cables and everything put on there. We slid the carburetor back into place, roughly. And we were messing around with some lights and stuff. Just see what works and what doesn't. So, today, 
Um, I am on a time crunch a little bit. I have some stuff to do. Uh, so I've only got a, a few hours to play with here. So I think I'm going to try to get these little rubber, rubber grommets on here. Real fast. Real simple, you know. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that taken care of. Okay. Now this is going to be real hard to try to show you guys. Because I need all the hands I can get. Okay. So we're going to find the one that says R for rear. Which would be this one. You can see that right there, hopefully. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get these little clamps over here. Uh, now, there's a bigger one for the bottom and then a smaller one for the top. So, not too worried about them. But what you're going to want to make sure of, like I said before, is these have, they don't necessarily have to be, but they're easier to get to on the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and make sure that's, you know, where we're going to want it. And this is the one that I think I know where it lines up, so I got this little mark to follow here. Um, but what I'm going to do for now, just to be able to see that from, you know, my side of the thing, I'm going to leave these off until we can get it kind of in place and then try to slide these on there. So, let's see if we can get this thing a little bit line here. Put a little Vaseline on there. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. I'm only doing two little globs, if that's a unit of measurement. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and get that in there. Make it easier to slide in place. Save us a little time. Okay, now that that's in there, we need to go ahead and find this little thing now. Like I said, I don't think this might not be the place for it, but that looks like it's the one to me, so <clears throat> that's what I'm going to go with. And if it's all lined up, remember, right in here there's that little tab that I showed you guys earlier that'll line up to this. And uh, I'm going to have to finagle this stuff around pretty good. Let's see if I can move this over a little bit. We got hitting just somewhere. What are we hitting on over here? What's going on? Hello? Let's see if we can slide that in. We might actually want to put we might want to put these on first, but they're gonna be pretty hard to see. There's no way. We'll see what we can do away with here. Oh. You wouldn't believe me, but this is a lot easier the first time. Would you mind stopping that for me? Okay, we got that rubber grommet in there. It took a little bit of moving and stuff, but we had to pull it back out a good distance and fangle it in there straight from the top. Um, it's nowhere near uh, lining up yet. I just want to stretch these out and kind of get them in place before we do line them up. Because once it's lined up in there, it's so hard to work in here. Good luck. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just gonna try to get this like roughly put in here, and uh, hopefully enough to. It's really hard to video in this little space too, which is unfortunate. But hopefully, once I get this like kind of where I need it to be, I can show you guys a lot more in depth of what's going on. So we'll go ahead and. Skip forward a little bit, okay? You turn the off again, babe. Okay, so I got this boot roughly set in there. We saw that. I got the little um, clips on it. Hardest thing to get on there. These clips are awful. Anyways, I got them on there, and I got them set down here. 
in the bottom, so they're relatively easy to get to. Now, I'm probably going to wind up having to move them around just a little bit. But I got these preset in here for the front side. And uh, basically all I'm going to do is move the carburetor a little bit because that's just roughly set in there. Now I already have the Vaseline in here, so it should be pretty easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and tilt the carburetor a little bit. And make sure you get this lined up, this little um, nipple piece here lined up. You'll put it in there, get it roughly set in, and kind of just finagle it in place. And you should be ready to just start throwing hoses and stuff on there. Clamping these clamps up pretty good, and you should be fine. So, I'm not going to bother you guys with me sitting here finagling this thing, because it could take a while, it could take a few minutes, you know what I mean? So, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this thing in here, get this stuff tightened up, and then I'll go around and show you guys where I'm going to put all the hoses and what's going on, okay? So, let's just uh, hop into putting this front boot on here, and then move on from there. Okay. I got it in here with the help of my dad. He watched one side and I kind of twisted on the other. But what I did, because this one didn't have the ear on it when I took it off, all right, is I got some channel locks here and I slowly just rotated it around. Be gentle now because it's rubber. But I slowly rotated that thing around until it lined up right and it took a while, but we got it done, okay? So you can do it that way or buy yourself a lot of time and get you a colored sharpie or a paint marker and just mark a spot mark the rubber and mark the head here on the motor before you take it off so you got the mark when you put it back together okay that'll make it 10 times easier and i still got to put those clamps on we're gonna have to figure out the best way because i tried on the bottom and it got into some craziness they're just not in the right it's all, they're in weird ways. They're not straight, okay? So we'll have to figure that out. But we'll see about that. I don't know if I need to be getting ready or not. I think it's, uh, Tom, is it here? 210, huh? Supposed to be leaving around 3, 3.30. So I might try to throw those clamps on there. Might give myself a break. I don't know yet. But anyways, that's how I got that on there, okay? Just took a lot of time. Save yourself the time and effort and just make a mark before you take it off. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to have to do it the hard way. I'm going to tell you that right now because it pissed me off real, real, real bad. Okay, so just do it uh, the easy way. And uh, if you need to learn the hard way, hopefully it don't take as long. Man, just look at this view. I thought it looked really nice with a little bit of rain and stuff we got. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Anyways, this is the next day, Thanksgiving. So everybody out there, just want to take a moment, look at all this with you and say happy Thanksgiving. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, let's get right back in here and see if we can get these uh, clamps on that motorcycle. Okay, like I said, been a day. All right, we're gonna be trying to throw those clamps on the motorcycle and get a little bit of those hoses on there. Can't really do too much because of uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, we have some stuff to do, just like everybody else should be. And if you don't believe in it, you know, you know, do what you guys do. Um, so, without any further things, I think I'm just gonna get right into it, and uh, hopefully we get these hoses and stuff done and. Uh, See if we can get some fuel on it at some point and try to start it. Okay. Here's where we are. We got... Well, first of all, we got leaks. Okay. <laughs> it's wet in the shop. But, big thing here is we got these clips. All four clips need to go back on. And I'm trying to figure out, even though these are really difficult to put on there, um, I'm trying to find the best place that you could possibly put these uh, so you can actually get a screwdriver in there and, uh, tighten these things up once they're in place. Now, I was saying before, and I might be wrong, but the best place I thought was going to be on the bottom. So you could just go this way. But it, it looks like no matter how hard you try, it's going to be a pain, uh, to tighten these clips up. 
So I'm thinking that I might just try to go with the regular on the top kind of stuff. See if we can get it, you know, relative somewhere to where we can just tighten it up. But I just don't know. We're going to have to figure that out. So what I'm going to do, spare you guys the time. I'm just going to finagle this stuff in there and uh, best I can figure out the easiest place to put it. And then when I get done with both sides, um, I'll show you guys where I thought was a good place. But what I'm, what I'm getting at here is I don't think anywhere is a good place, okay? I think it's all not good to work on in here, okay? So I'll be back when I'm done, tell you guys uh, what's going on. And we'll go from there. Okay. I'm going to be real with you. Do not do this for the love of God. Just going to throw that out there before I show you. Okay. So, that back clamp, you can do that all day long. This zip tie, please don't do that. I'm going to do it. But please don't do it. <laughs> okay. Just do the right clamps. I just couldn't for the life of me get anything in there. And these are the most crappy clamps i've ever seen in my life and they won't go back in there right i can't get them in there so i did what i could do is put those in there and uh cinch this down and cut it off but please for safety just don't just don't do it all right i know i'm dumb enough to do it but please <laughs> save yourself the trouble you don't want to be doing anything crazy so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go ahead and hook all these hoses up and then uh here in a minute i'm gonna have to find some fuel to see if we can you know start it for a second i don't know now, I already tried this a few times. Squirt a little fuel down here. Squirt a little fuel down here. I messed with the choke a little bit because it's cold. And me and Dad were up here messing with it. And it finally started for a second. I'm going to show you guys. Just one second. Okay. I'll turn the key on real quick. Spray a little fuel down here. Not too much now. It likes to backfire, but don't worry about that. Just a second's all I'm gonna get, okay? But it's better than it was, I guess. Let's see if I can do it one more time. Why not? Hopefully it doesn't explode, you know? That's all we're gonna get. But that's good news, cause I don't know. I don't work on bikes, but that's good. Anyways, we can cut off that. All right, everybody. I think that's gonna be it for this one. As always, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, yet again, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys have a good time. And yeah, I think that's it for this one. Uh, next week I'm probably going to try to get into sinking and stuff like that, but we're going to have to have fuel, so I'm not really sure where to go. Um, if you guys got any pointers or anything, send it my way, you know, let me know. Uh, like I said, big safety thing, don't be, uh, doing the old zip tie stuff, because it, uh, it could come back and haunt you, but for right now that's what I'm going to have to do, because I just can't get those clamps in there. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. And yet again, thank you guys so much. Um, if you've made it this far, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, tell me what you like about the channel. Tell me what you don't. Um, and yet again, if you have any pointers, feel free because I don't know nothing about bikes. So thank you guys and I uh, hope to see you guys in the next one.